Defending champions Qatar are going head to head with China today at the Khalifa International Stadium for their third and final group stage games in the AFC Asian Cup 2023. Playing against all odds, Qatar has nailed the top spot in Group A, being the first to qualify for the round of 16s. But this is not your normal Asian Cup games. Underdogs are defying expectations and taking spots where once Asia's favorites used to be. <laughs> If Qatar wins today, it will be their 10th consecutive win with no losses in this tournament so far. Does Qatar, an underdog, have what it takes? Well, I think that uh, under, underdogs, they have less pressure. So uh, during this uh, big stage, they can play as, as, as much, you know, as freely as they want. So they have what it takes to be the big dogs. really glad and proud of Middle Eastern team that, you know, they are coming up in the world like that, especially in sp sports entertainment. It's really amazing. Morocco is not, a, it's a very good national team. Like, it can do a lot of things. Like, in 2019, we only beat them 1-0. But we also won against Japan 3-1. So anything can happen in football. This is football, natural. I think that Qatar is actually uh, better than China in terms of ranking. So I see uh, probably a comfortable win, yes. Yeah. Yes, they do have experience in World Cup as well. So I think they will play very well in this game today. I think it's a special Asian Cup because there's a lot of underdog like, but there's also a lot of big teams like Australia and Japan. And hopefully Qatar will win this. Go Qatar! Go Qatar! Qatar did indeed beat all odds tonight with a 1-0 victory over China. Qatar's captain Hassan Al Haydus came in full force during the second half with an aim to take the Maroons to now their 10th consecutive win, while China could only muster third place in Group A, risking an early exit. Al Anabi has made it through the tournament so far with no losses on its record, paving way for what could potentially be an AFC Asian Cup for the underdogs.